It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world, only a banger home. How you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm good. My name is ATM Reed with All Time Media. Very nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Kayla. Kayla? Yeah. Okay. We out here in Kizzleton tonight. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Kayla. Um, I'm Puerto Rican and I'm about to be 35. Okay. I'm a mother of two. Okay. I have two boys. Okay. Um, I've been getting high since I was 18 on perk. And then once the doctor started getting busted for the scripts, mm -hmm. um, it got really hard to find perks and I turned to dope. So now I'm getting high on dope and it's not really dope, but it is what it is. I've been to detox a couple times. Yeah. I always end up back down here. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about getting clean though, for oh, good. Yeah. Uh, this is not a way to live. I don't live out here though. I have a house. Okay. I live in Southwest. Philadelphia, right? Yeah. All right. I've been in my house for four years, but I come out here every day to cop, and yeah. then I go home. Yeah. How much you think you spend a day on your habit? Um, I used to spend three on it every day. I'm down to like a hundred. Okay. Um, trying to bring myself down. Uh, you know, this stuff just gets worse and worse. You end up getting um, trank sores from it. Yeah. All types of stuff. Uh, but mainly my my reason for wanting to get clean is really because I want to be back with my kids. Absolutely. And um, because my mom comes down here looking for me all the time and. Wait, who know, comes down? My mom. Oh. And I'm, I'm tired of hurting her. Once in a while, she gets on the cameras and she looks for me. Oh, man. Um, She's reported me missing a couple times. Yeah. And it's just out of embarrassment because I'm always around here. Um, But out of embarrassment, I can't call her to tell her that I relapsed. Yeah. And uh, I lie to her for a while. And then my mom always knows when I'm getting high. Of course. But, yeah, I'm trying to get trying to get clean now i'm down to like my minimum now yeah 300 a day to 100 a day that's a big accomplishment you yeah know? um soon it'll be zero dollars a day yeah hopefully yeah. spending on something else yeah so kayla can i get your age um i'll be 35 in june okay all right yeah how's kayla day to day man walk us through it man your day in life um so my day starts off like at nine in the morning um, I do a shot and then I nod off for a while yeah and then I'll do less I'll come out here to be honest this is where I make my money sometimes out here um, I've gotten locked up a couple times yeah and then I go I collect my money and then I go home and and yeah. I, I get high at home because out here everybody steals everything I heard, man. One girl told me that she ran through six cell phones in a week. Oh, I've been through way more than that. I have two right now. Yeah. And I always have two, and they'll be gone by the end of the week. But, like, I've been through over 100 phones. Yeah. Like, every week I'm buying two or three new phones. How you intaking your substances? Huh? How I you intaking? You inject? I inject. Did you start it off injecting? No, I started off snorting. Yeah. Um... But within like two weeks, I was already injecting because it would get globbed up right here and I couldn't breathe. Mm. So I automatically went right to shooting. And um, I've been shooting for 10 years. 10 years. Yeah, so. Is it scary? I know some people are scary it is, of it. It yeah. is, it is, because um, every time it's not the same. Yeah. Um, I know how to do it now properly. Yeah. Um, and I take a lot of precautions because a lot of people out here are not being sanitary. Yeah. Which is the reason why they have all these wounds. Mm -hmm. Not saying that you don't get them because you do get them, but a lot of people get them and they stay there because they're not being sanitary. They're yeah. reusing needles. They're not using all the stuff that prevention point gives you. Yeah. And they give you a lot of stuff for a reason, you know. Yeah. I don't think that there should be any reason why people are walking around with wounds that big. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really crazy. No reason and I heard you can't go to uh, rehab unless the wounds is treated. Yeah, you can't. They won't let you. Yeah. Um. So, you know, um. Uh. 
if if you do have wounds, you got to get them treated in the hospital first. Yeah. Me, I'm a different case. I have congestive heart failure due mm. to endocarditis. Yeah. I had it um, in 2016. Yeah. It landed me in the hospital for four and a half months. Oh, man. Um, I went into cardiac arrest and I called it and I was in... I was on, I've been on life support three times. Life support three times? Yeah. Kayla. I have congestive heart failure and my detox has to be done in the hospital. So, Cannot be done man. in the detox facility. Oh man, cause you could, you're because high risk, you're high risk. The very next day, I go right into life support. My heart to handle. You said it again, the detox is what? Too it's strong. too strong for my heart to handle. Oh man. Yeah, so it, it accelerates my heart and then it drops it down Yeah. to the uh, it's been 10% my yeah. whole pumping of my whole body mm. was on 10% um, I wasn't supposed to make it but I'm here absolutely and I am thankful and for that reason I do want to get clean absolutely yeah I do Kayla what was your hobbies before you started using Kayla oh I was I was into everything I like to dance I like to read I, I like to draw I like to do a lot of things I like to cook I still like to do those things I just this takes Hold over. on, Kayla. We're going to hear your choices right after this train. We're going to wrap it up. I know the weather getting crazy, but right after this train, go. All right, what was your hobbies again? Um, I like to cook, dance, read. I like to do everything. Yeah. I like to do everything. Yeah. Um, Who's your favorite artist, music-wise? Uh, I like um, I like Eminem. Eminem? Okay. Yeah, I like Eminem. I All think right. he's lyrically a genius. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you wish to travel? If you can't travel anywhere, where do you wish to travel? Uh, Italy. Italy? Why is that? I don't know. I just heard a lot of nice things about it. So, yeah. I travel a lot, so. Kayla, how you feel about the females that's doing dates out here in Kensington? What's um, your input on them? I have done it myself, but it is very dangerous. It is very, very dangerous. Um, I've been assaulted out here twice. Um, which is why I'm as careful as I am now, but you can never be too careful. It's just how we make our money. Yeah. It's the easiest way to make money. And to be honest, 90% of the money that they're making out here is because of the females. Yeah. And they are taking care of the men's habits. Yeah. So, Do you think um, prostitution should be legalized? I don't think it should be illegal. Yeah. Because I feel like whatever a woman wants to do with her body is her is her business. Yeah. You know? Um, but it it is very dangerous. Yeah, it it is. is very dangerous. Um I've been out here for many years so I know a lot of people. Yeah. So I'm more like regulars than just to hop in with anybody that's too much. Can you describe your regulars personalities? Like are they nine to five guys, street dudes? Oh yeah, I have US Marshals, I have all types of guys. Okay. I have construction workers, um, they're all different, you know. Some okay. of them are really good friends of mine now, though. They're not yeah. even clients anymore. Yeah. Just really good friends. Do they try to motivate you to get up out of this situation? Oh, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them. I've had a couple of them take me to hospitals. Yeah. Take me stuff to rehab. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah a lot of them, are, they're just normal people, you know. Yeah. Um, trying to get satisfied, but at the end of the day, they see the person that you are. Yeah. And the heart that you have, and yeah. they treat you, you know, like a human yeah. some of them some of them don't absolutely Yo, normally Kay it's the older ones that have more compassion yeah. kayla i appreciate the conversation your courage on speaking out everybody don't got the courage to talk in front of a camera and tell these stories especially if they're going through a lot in life um once again my name is atm ray with all time media thank you please take care of yourself thank we wish you. you the best of luck please stay safe out here it's dangerous we out kensington at night you know what i'm saying um any last words you want to say um, just, you know, take care, everybody, and be careful out here. It's, it's really, really dangerous. Be out. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind-the-scenes content and face-to-face -face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below. You want to start a business with YouTube? You want to get started creating a podcast? Purchase our new ebook and get all the information you need for only $10. My name is ATM Ray, and I will offer informative steps, advice, and ideas to seek potential success in YouTube and podcasting. Remember, get all the information you need for only $10. Link is below or above.